I'm going to show you how to port forward a Netgear DGND 3300 V2 for your Xbox console. Uh, if like me you've gone through hundreds and thousands of YouTube videos and couldn't find it, this is the way to do it. So first of all, you go on your Xbox 360 and you be on the My Xbox screen and you scroll to the end to find your system settings. So you click into your system settings and you scroll down to network settings. Click into network settings, click into your router. As you can see, I'm using a Netgear. Uh, then you'll go to configure network. Click in here. You'll, be, um, you'll see the basic settings, your IP settings and your DNS settings. Um, your IP settings will be set at automatic. So the first thing you gotta do is go in and change that. Basically what you want to do is to copy all your automatic settings down first and then go in and change them into manual but on the last digit of your manual you uh, put in your own unique number you can choose any number between 1 and 254 I've chosen 55 because I find any number in the 50s is good for online gaming and uh, so once you do that you go down to your DNS settings and you change that to manual as well so basically you'll have that on manual then you uh, come to your laptop and uh, what you want to do now is you log into uh, your, your router so basically you need to get inside your router for Netgear users um, it's 192.168 Point zero point one. Sorry for the bad quality. So you click into that. You'll be then asked for a username and password. Username is admin, and password is password. Uh, you click into that. You will be seen then with your Netgear um, router. The router will check if there's any updates. A couple of seconds. What you want to do then is. On the left hand side there's a bar, you scroll down to port forwarding and you click on port forwarding and you'll then be faced with this screen. Only on your screen you won't have the three boxes that you see here. These are boxes because I've configured them but you'll want to go to add new rule. So you'll click on add new rule. I'm not going to do it however though because I've already done it. So I'll just go into edit to show you what you have to do. So you will then see preset forwarding rule or custom rule. You'll click custom rule. Then your service name. You'll have to type in whatever you want. I've typed in Xbox. Uh, service type. Use TCP over UDP. Then your starting port. This uh, starting port number is unique for Black Ops, but it will still help your, your game. Any game. Uh, 3074. Uh, ending port 3074 then when you come to your server IP address you'll put in your unique uh, IP address that you have put on your Xbox which would be the last number again I've used 55 you can use whatever you wish uh, then you go in again add another new rule I'm just gonna edit mine uh, you type in your service name I've used Xbox one because you can't have the same uh, name it'll conflict uh, service type will be TCP UDP and starting port this time is 22728 and ending port is the same. Server IP address is the same again with your special unique number at the end and you apply then you go to the third one and you I've typed in service name Xbox 2 again you can have the same name the, st the service type is TCP UDP and your starting port is 33233, ending port the same. And your server IP address, again, your unique IP address you put on your Xbox with your last digits. I have 55, so apply. Once you have done that, you then want to go back to the left hand side and go to port triggering. Click into port triggering, and you'll be faced with a similar screen. Again, you won't have these three boxes. You'll have to add your own, so add new rule again. Again, I'm going to edit mine. When you come in here, your server name, 
Xbox for as in your first port forward. Service user, you type in single address, and then you put in your unique IP address with uh, again 55 was my number. You can have any, and then you start with your your triggering port was 3074, and you come down to required inbound connection service type TCP and starting port 3074, and you click apply, and basically for the second two boxes you do the exact same as what you've done in your port forwarding and you click apply and there you go that is how you port forward your Xbox to your Netgear DGND 3300 V2 router um, doing this will greatly increase your Xbox online and you'll be the host in most games and there'll be no lagging or shit like that uh, just like the video, uh, any comments, get, I'll get back to you, good luck.